Good morning, everyone. This is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with the next puzzle in the Quads on Parade pack. Um, this is Four Wheel Drive by Akash Dulani. Now, these puzzles are being recorded in the order they were submitted, but they are being released in the order of difficulty. So for all I know, this could be the first puzzle you see. Um, of course, links to the puzzle and the pack will be in the description below. The pack is available for free. Um, and yeah, um, let's have a look at the puzzle. This one is just using the quadruples constraint and it's really great to have Akash contributing to the pack. Um, so let's have a look. So normal Sudoku rules apply. We've got every uh, in every box, in every row and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then we've got quadruple circles. So digits in a quadruple circle must be placed at least once in the four cells touching that circle. So for example, um, we, there must be a one and a two in those four cells, there must be at least one seven um, and one eight in those um, four cells. So it might be possible, for example, for us to put two eights there. That might be possible. I don't know, but that would be legal. There's at least one eight in those four cells. Um, I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So one of the things that you're often looking at is when you've got um, a quadruple circles that overlap like this with sevens being in both of those, it means that you cannot put a seven into any of these cells because if you were to put a seven into any of those cells, um, you would end up with three sevens in those two rows because there must be one seven in here, there must be one seven in this quadruple because they share two rows, but you can only put two sevens in two rows. So if you were to put a seven here, the seven in this quadruple would be here and now you can't put a seven into this quadruple. So that's something that you can always try and look for. So how do we start this one? So I can see eight is in one of those two cells, but I'm not sure what to do with that. Hmm. I've been told this one was quite easy and I'm not sure what the trick is. So one is in one of those two cells because of that. Five is, oh, I can see five is in one of those two cells. That's nice and easy. Can I do the similar with nine? Yes, nine is in one of those two cells. And nine is down um, with nine is down here, which means I can't put nine in any of those or any of those. So nine is in one of those two cells. Nine can't be in any of those. So nine is in one of those two cells. I'm looking for weird overlaps here, and I'm not seeing many. Like, how does... One puts one into one of those two cells, but I'm not sure what that does for me. And I don't want a pencil mark across boxes if I can avoid it. Five puts five into one of those two cells and into one of those two cells. But those two cells don't... Hang on a minute. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, but that's only nine cells. So, oh, that's beautiful. Look at this. I've got to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine into all of those cells because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine are listed for all of that, but that's only nine cells. So into those eight cells, I have to put eight cells. So, these cells must contain one and two. These must contain three and four. These must contain five and six. These must contain seven and eight. But because I know that the quadruples are allocating eight digits precisely to those eight cells, because the eight digits are precisely allocated, because there's a one and a two, a three and a four, a five and a six, and a seven, eight, all touching those eight cells. So those eight cells must contain these eight digits. So they're firmly located, but this cell is only touching the one, two quadruple. So this is a one or a two. This is a three or a four. This is a five or a six. This is a seven or an eight. And this must be true for all of them. 
And this can't be an, an eight. This is a seven, which means these aren't seven, but I have to put a seven around here. This is a seven. That's beautiful. This can only be two or four. This can only be six or eight. And basically, each of these cells can only be a digit. And it's the same here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they're the eight digits touching the quadruples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Those are the digits touching the circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Those are the digits touching the circles. So you must allocate the eight digits touching the circles to those eight cells. And therefore, this, for example, couldn't be a two, three, six, or seven because, or a one, but it has to be one of those eight cells. Can't be a one. It has to be uh, two, three, four, five, six, um, seven, eight, nine, but it can't be two, three, six, seven because two, three, six, seven isn't touching this. So this could only be four, five, eight, or nine. And I could do Sudoku on that. That's amazing. So seven, seven, so this can only be one, two, or six because it can't be a five because it sees a five, but it has to be one of the digits touching the circle. I've got to figure out how to use this. This is one, eight. This is two, four. These are the most restricted cells. These are two, three. This is four, five. This is three, nine. This is five, six. This is six, seven. This is eight, nine. Oh, look at this. This has to be two, three, four, or five, and that is a two, three, four, five quadruple. And the three has to be in one of those. But it means that this, which could only be one, eight, two, or four, can't be two or four. So this is a one, eight. And if this is the one, eight, that can't be a one or eight. That's a three, nine, making that a three, nine pair. Now, this can't be three or nine, so it's five, six, making that a five, six pair, making that a seven. This is the two, four pair, which looks up making that the three. This is beautiful. Four is now in one of those two, but it can't be there. This is the four. So now the one, two can only be in those two cells. So this is one, two, which means this is five, six. And if that's the five, six, this is the eight. Now, can I do the same here? Well, these can only be from one, two, three, four because they only touch one, two, three, four. So that's a one, two, three, four. So the one has to be in here. So this can't be one, two, three, or four. So it can't be two or three. So this is six or seven. So it's six. These can't be six or seven. This can't be six or seven anymore. So this is eight, nine, which means this is four, five, which means this can't be four, five. This is the two, three, which looks across making that the four and that the two. The four looks back making that the five and that the four. Two... This four makes this the two, which looks out making that the three and that the two. There's no two or three in here. These are one and four. But the four has to be touching this circle. This is the one. This is the four. This is the two, four. So this is the six, eight now. And this is the three. And this is the nine. The six, eight. Oh, the nine looks down making that the eight and that the nine. The nine looks up making that the six and that the eight. The two looks across making this the one and this the two. The nine looks across, making that the three and that the nine. The one looks down, making that the eight and that the one. I don't know how to break those open. Okay, so let's look at triples. One, two, three, four, five, seven, and nine. There's no five or seven there. So this is the nine. And these are five and seven. Not sure. What about this triple? One, three, six. There's no one there, there's no three there, there's no six there. Okay, that has not helped me. This one. One, two, four, eight. There's no two there, there's no four or eight, that's the two, so I can take two out of there. The eight makes that the four, which makes that the eight. Not helping. This triple, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine. There's no six there, there's no five there. I don't know. What about this triple? Six, seven, and nine. There's no six there because of the five, six pair. There's no nine there. Okay, this triple. Three, five, eight. There's no three there. Not sure. There's no eight there. 
Oh, this isn't going well, is it? <laughs> One, two, four. There's no two there. Ah, this is the two. That's not helping. Okay, there's no triple here. There's no triple here. There is a triple here. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine. So this is a five, nine. This is an eight, taking eight out of there, which gives me a three, five pair, making that an eight. Okay, this triple, one, two, three, four, six, seven. There's no, this is a four, taking four out of those. Are you kidding me? This triple, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's no two or three here. This is the one, I take one out of those. The two makes this the three, which makes this the two. The three makes this the five, which makes this the three. The five, no idea. This is a six, seven now, giving me a six, seven pair in the column. But this is a six, seven in the box. One, two, three, this is a four. So this is a one or a three. Wow, okay. Scanning badly. What have I missed? Ah, this four looks down, making that the one and that the four. Okay, so there's a quadruple in this column. One. Well, actually, let's look at the triple in this box, which is, oh, the six makes this the five and this the six, which makes this the five and this the six. The five looks up saying that's not the five. So the six, nine makes that the five, which makes that the nine. And now I've got triples everywhere. So, but this is a pair, which is one and nine. But so this is one, six, nine. So this is one, six. The one, six pair means this is five or seven. But this is now a triple. Two, three, eight. So this is three or eight. This is two or three. And this is just a two. So this is a three. This is an eight. So this is a pair, four, five. The four looks down, making that the five and that the four. The five makes this the seven and this the five. This is the seven. The seven looks down, making this the nine, making this the six, this the seven, this the six, this the nine. The seven looks down, making that the six and that the seven. The nine looks down, making that the one and that the nine. The one looks up, making that the six and that the one, which makes that the three and that the one. The three looks back, making that the six. This is a pair. Need to put a two and a seven. And these are three and five. And I'll use the three here to make that the five and that the three. That is beautiful. First person to solve this puzzle. I'm not. The test has solved it, but possibly. I'm sure it had this name, but maybe not. Um, absolutely beautiful. That is probably one of the best intro puzzles we could have. That is beautiful. Oh my Lord, that is amazing. What do you expect from Akash Dulani? That is absolutely amazing. Thank you, Akash. That puzzle is absolutely mind-blowing. So fortunate to have so, so many amazing puzzle setters around. Thanks, Akash. Um, hope you enjoy the puzzles to come because this one could very, very easily be dropped at the beginning. If there is one that is earlier than this in the pack, then I um, hope you're enjoying what you've done so far. Um, yeah, thanks everyone for participating. Um, hope you, uh, yeah, I, we will see what comes. But uh, the important thing is that you enjoy a bunch of free puzzles. Thanks everyone. And as always, good luck with your solving.